Hi, right, welcome back. This is Thursday, um, so no more video time. Um, I wanted to talk today about cutting out, uh, you know, negativity and negative people in your life. Um, you know, I've had to do it before. I've had to do it even recently. Um, I'm sure people have had to do it for me whenever I wasn't so great for them in their life. And, I, you know, I don't blame them, you know, I, and I might have been mad at the time. I might have not understood it, but I do now, you know, um, and I don't blame that person or those people or whatever instances, you know, um, I just think so many of us, you know, we just get so stuck and, and so used to living a certain way or, or used to living with somebody that's toxic for us or, you know, whether that's man, woman, wh whoever, you know, it's just, it's just not good for you. You know, it's one of them things that, you know, if you really want to be happy, you have to focus on being happy. You have to feel like you're already happy. You have to be appreciative of the things you have. If you're always thinking negative, you're just going to find negative all the time. You're not going to find happy. Um, and you know, nobody's happy all the time. I mean, let's be real. It, it's not ideal and it's not possible to be happy all the time. I mean, no matter how much Paxil or whatever you have, the, it's just not going to happen. Um, you know, but yeah, cutting out toxic people in your life. I mean, you know, you know, I've had to do it before and, and it's sad, you know, and, and it hurt me worse than it probably hurt the individual who I had to cut out, you know, and it's like, I mean, I've known you for years and years and years, but if you're toxic, you're toxic, you know? And I, I think that, you know, anymore, I'm just, I'm such an introvert. Um, you know, I'm not opposed to hanging out with people, but it's like, I keep a very small circle of people. Um, you know, a lot of that's due, I think, to just being screwed over so much by so-called friends over the years. Um, and, and it's not right for me to take it out on other people that have done nothing to me and say, well, well I just try to put up a wall. And I, I try to have a wall, but not too hard of a wall, you know. But, you know, I've, I've found in my experience over the years, um, it's not so bad only keeping a few friends. It's really not. Um, you know, I sit here a lot of nights by myself. You know, the woman's working, the little one's off with her mom, and I sit here a lot of nights by myself. You know, some nights it's lonely, some nights it's it sucks, some nights it's... But, you know, I found uh, I found some comfort in it at times, too. You know, I, I can really just sit down and try to focus on me, and I can meditate or do whatever and, and try to just focus inward so I can put it out and, you know. But, uh, yeah, I just... I just don't get some of these people that, you know, they just want to complain about this person and, you know, your wife, your husband or whatever, or your friend. It's like, but you don't want to do anything to change it. You don't want to get that negative person out of your life. And I understand it's hard. It gets, you know, you love that person or, or you do, you know, you just done so much for them and everything, but it's like, somebody's going to be negative. They're not doing anything good for you. Um, and it's all well and good to want to help somebody, but you can only help somebody so much. If they're not willing to help themselves, then you got to cut that crap off because they're going to just keep using you as a crutch. They're going to keep using you as this or that and the other thing. And it's just, you know, and you're never going to be happy. You're going to be constantly wondering, like, what is going on? Why? You know, you have the power to change your life. You have the power to change your situation. I know sometimes it seems hopeless. I've been there. You know, I, I still kind of go through that sometimes with, with all this crap that I deal with, with custody and everything. It's just like, I feel so hopeless, but you know what? I, I'm not giving up. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna figure it out. Plain and simple. Um, but yeah, I just, I feel like too many of us just get the settling and, and just putting up with way more crap than we should. You know, life's too short. I mean, if you got somebody toxic in your life right now, cut them out, cut them out. And I know it'll probably hurt. And, you know, nine times out of ten, they're probably going to get pissed at you and not understand that you're just trying to save yourself. You know, uh, you got to do what you got to do. I mean, it's, I, I don't think it's selfish at all. I, I think it's smart, if anything. Um, you know, and as I said, I keep a very small circle of friends now. I, I don't. And, you know, I don't need to go hang out all, every weekend. I don't need to go out all the time and do this and that and the other thing. But, 
every once in a while I do it. Recharge the batteries and, and socialize and whatever else. I'm totally not opposed to it. Um, but yeah, I just, to me, I, I've just, I, at my age and everything, I've just, I've had enough of, of toxic type people, you know. I Sometimes I work with some, or you know, I currently work with some. Uh, you know, I, I know people that are in toxic relationships or you know, whatever else. And it's just like, I feel for you, but you've got to be willing to do it. You've got to be willing to stand up for what you want or what you believe or how you feel. And if you're not willing to do that or cut that person out, if you're not willing to do that, then I've got no sympathy for you. I mean, it's your decision. It's your choice to not do anything about it. Um, so I urge anybody out there today, you know, if you're really struggling with this and, and you got somebody, you're in a toxic relationship or you got a toxic friend or, you know, whatever, it's like, just cut them out. Just do it because, you know, you're going to feel better in the long run. Um, there's nothing wrong with wanting some happiness and solace and, and something for yourself. Um, because some people out here, I mean, they'll just literally drain you dry. You know, and we're all just a bunch of energy. And if you're just constantly sucking up all this negative energy, you're never going to feel good. You know, there's an old saying too, you know, show me your friends and I'll show you your future. And it's so true. Um, you know, you're, you're friends with a bunch of people that are toxic or, or just negative all the time and everything. I mean, that's all you're going to have. And it's just... It sucks. It's it's not cool. And it's, it's not fun to have to do things like that. But, you know, <clears throat> it is what it is. But, uh, yeah, I just, I'm going to let anybody know that, you know, if, if you're dealing with anything like this, just, just think about it. Just really think about it. The pros and the cons, if you have to, whatever. It, is it worth it? Is it worth it to keep that negative person in your life? Is it worth it to keep going through all the hell that you're going through? You know, if you need to sit down and, and just think about it, just meditate, do whatever you got to do, find a quiet place, uh, you know, but life's too short. Life's too short to put up with that crap. It's just not cool. Um, so that's it for today. Um, I hope anyone that is suffering from this, uh, you do do the right thing and for your sake. Um, and hopefully the person that you have to cut off or cut out of your life will one day understand and maybe you can inspire them to stop being so negative or to do something with their life or or whatever the case may be so that's it for today i'll see you guys on tuesday um all right have a good weekend